right, boys, welcome on back to the channel. It's time to do some walleye jerking today. Now, I know in this series we already caught some walleye, and we did a magnificent catch and cook, short lunch. But Captain Ted, he's been going out every day for two weeks, dialed, and we're going to learn some things today about catching some walleye. Hopefully, get some pretty good ones in the process. My personal best is 24 inches long. I feel like we have a pretty good chance at, uh, at stepping that up here today. However, I have never done this technique that we are going to learn together today. Ted's going to walk us through it, but we're going to be getting on them crawler harnesses. Okay, boys? We're going to start fresh. Never rigged one of these up. We're learning together. All right, Captain Ted. We we're rigging hey, up a bottom bouncing rig. Is this correct? It's correct. My preferred rod is a 6.6, six, medium, heavy, okay. of any brand, and then maybe a 2500 series spinning reel. All righty. Got probably 20 pound braid, 15 yes. pound braid. 20 pound braid. It's a two ounce bottom bouncer. And uh, with the wind today, that's definitely the right call. You can go lighter on certain days when the wind's not quite as strong, but we want to be on, on the bottom, hugging the bottom, bouncing rocks and also pushing through the weed lines. So we tie that directly to a snap, it's your basic snap. And then we hand make our snails in the cabin at nights. And over a couple of cocktails, of over, course. Absolutely, it's the best way to do it. Going fire tiger today, made that last night. A little bit of a copper flash on the back. Some orange and green beads. Barbed hooks to keep the worm on. Snailed on. Yep. It's about it's, arm length and Okay. Six long. foot or so. Maybe usually, seven foot on you. Yeah, this is usually <laughs> what we do when we're making them. We just hold our arms out. And then you're going to tie it to this, which is when you purchase the bottom bouncer, it'll have a barrel swivel on it so the worm doesn't get tangled. And I like to put another barrel swivel on my line too to give it a little bit more straightness. I just don't want to get tangled when I'm down there. There's a lot of current and rocks. So this is 15, that's 15 mono. 15 mono. Okay. That'll give you a little stretch, so when you hook, do hook this, the fish, um, you won't pull it out of its mouth. Is that a crawler harness? That, that be we, we call them a snail, but yeah, a crawler snail. harness. Okay. I think it's what they call them in the store. And then you need a, a crawler need for a crawler. your snail. Now this is interesting here. You take, you take um, very good care of your worms. It's essential. You want to have live. Look at these. Cool worms. Live cool worms. And we, we clean them so we don't clean have to bring the mud out with into the, your boat. With fresh, clean water every night. Every every night. Make sure Look it's on the barb through the eye of the worm. And this I let just kind of hang free. We don't put that on the worm. Oh, okay. It, yep. And uh, catch most of your fish on the, on front. the front hook because they're really hitting that blade spinning right. around. But occasionally you'll get them with the trailer too. And this cooler, guys, this is an actual cooler. It has cool packs all around it. All right, this is no, this is not a game. It's there's the full program. Look at that, and they're happy. They've been cleansed with Aquafina at night. All right, I've never done this technique before. The closest comparison that I can give is probably Carolina rigging with a drift. So if you get out on a big point for bass and you just throw the Carolina rig out and you're sort of letting it go, you get on the trolling motor and you do a controlled drift, that's kind of what we're doing here. So looking, the, looking at the electronics, seeing the bait, seeing a good depth, which in this case is about 15 foot, and then Ted is going to stay on the trolling motor and basically keep us in the depth and we will put it off to the side, the two ounce, that has a lot of weight so that it goes down there and it's keeping you on the bottom and your line's not lifting up and drifting above the fish. We're learning, smash that like button, let's get hooked up. Okay, we're gonna snap on the bottom bouncer, which is attached to the snelled harness. Look at, look at me go. I'm a true Yankee now. All right, that is pretty heavy. That is pretty heavy, Ted. So this uh, this has a essentially a 90 degree angle on it. We want to uh, 
put ourselves in the current. I've got my worm ready to go. Ted's already hooked me up. And so I'm throwing this on my green series finesse rod. Go ahead and help your bail. And uh, drop it down. Drop it. So all your line comes out and it's flat. Oh yeah, we're on bottom. Got the feel. We're on it. Yep. So now we're gonna bottom bounce. Okay, this is bottom bouncing. This is combining boat with man and electronics. It's it's one fluid system here. I mean, you get a bite with one of these, you want to let them tap it a couple times. Yeah. Suck it. Okay. All right, we got some fish down here, guys. Twelve foot right now. They're hugging the bottom. Oh, this is it. Yeah, there's. Got him. Hooked up. Oh, Teddy, come off. Felt good, too. That looked like a big in there. That was just one big old mark at the peak of the. You hooked up? Yeah. Oh, I'm hooked up, too. Ted, we're doubled. No, I'm not. I missed it. You got him? Oh, I got him. Big in, son. Feels good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This might be a 30, Ted. He feels solid. Nice. Feel like a walleye? It doesn't feel like a northern. No, it's a, it's a walleye. Nice. He's just nice. slow, big head turns. It's a nice one. Not I think bad. we got a, a PB coming here. Yeah, we got probably got a PB <laughs> on the first first fish. All right, all right, oh, all yeah. right. Let's finish it now. I like the way you're playing it. Yeah. Probably rod tip a little higher with these walleyes. Avoid any possible slack in the line at any time. Here he comes. Get ready. Wabam! Boom! <laughs> That's a nice quality fish there. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, how's the typical? You put them. Right there Except and do your thing. Down. Cool. So let's see. Fish. Looks like he got the back hook. Yeah. He did get the back hook. Kind of a belly snag there. They got a lot of teeth. How do you typically grab these? Yeah. I didn't know if you have a special. Okay, you do. You got a towel. Got a towel. And you grab them. I'm gonna put the towel over the fish, like so. Kind of calm so them down. Get two good hands on him. Put that hook back in the net there. Okay. I'm gonna get that okay. hook out of there. Okay. He's out. Let's measure it. I, I think it might not be a PB, but I got, I'm, yeah. I'm calling maybe 23 or 24. 23, 24. 20, 23. 23. Okay. <laughs> I got a 24 yesterday on a jerk bait, but that is the second base walleye I've ever caught. Put him back. Put him back. That is pretty awesome. That's good stuff. Oh, he thumped a tar out of it, too. <laughs> I mean, just don't keep my same crawler on here. Good to go. Yeah. Nice one, Doug. You know what? Feels like it's got some shoulders. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's Hooked up, it. baby. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that run it made there. <laughs> Just taking her easy. Yeah, is it working? See him down there? This one's really nice. fighting, yeah. quite honestly. It's good Makes action, huh? Runs. Wearing him out. It's pretty fish, too. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, bam! <laughs> <laughs> Just whacking them, man. <laughs> Golly! They hit the tar out of these worms. Yeah. Cool. I got him. I got him from here. Okay. I'm going to do the towel method. Thank you, Ted. The reason for the towel, guys around the back these things have some gill plates 
that are super gnarly super gnarly okay that one had the front hook it's like he's supposed to there we go so you can kind of grab them right here you can grab them right there and you're and you're good to go but these gill plates right here oh man they are sharp it's these these babies right there oh ted's oh. hooked up i'm gonna let my fish go yeah. Here we go, bud. That one looks good. Yeah, this one, this one's got some shoulders on it too. Some healthy fish sitting out here on this point, you know. Oh no, my hook's in the net. Take your time. I'm gonna get them out. Okay. It's blowing in is really holding them right here on the front side. Okay. I usually catch them on the back side, but you can see how the wind just. Right in our face. Oh, I, yeah, I see him right here on the graph. Oh, yeah, that's a big boy. It's a big boy. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> that's a toad. There it is. We're looking for. All right. Put him right here. Yeah. Is this the program? That's the program. What's crazy, y'all, is uh, Ted's personal best came right over there. And every time he comes by that, that rock, he gets a bite for decades now, right? Look yes, at that. Literally. Look at that. that. Pretty tail. That's a big one. Woo! Those teeth, too. Choppers. That's awesome, man. Pretty, pretty. Okay. He's too big to keep. Too big to keep. One. Going back. Quality. Dropping her down. Here we go. And I almost caught him 10 feet from where your fish was caught. Yeah. yeah there's, there's quite a stack in there. Yeah, there's a couple glued to the bottom right here. That's typically how they are. They're just glued. Yep. Bottom fish or walleye, almost always. And that's why we use that's why you got to use that bottom bouncer. They're on the bottom. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, oh, I missed one too. God, that one felt good. <laughs> yeah, these ain't no little, uh, little, these aren't no little skillet nugget makers. These are big boys. Got him. Thank you, give me another second. I think I got him. I can handle it. Yeah. Double up. Okay. Woohoo! Here we go now. Either I've got him fouled or it is a toad. <laughs> oh man. This might be a donkey. We got a slob donkey on y'all. Holy cow. Dad, I'm a little worried. This one might be large. Do you need the net? I don't know. This could be a 30. No idea. It's either a pike or it's a real big one. A big, big walleye. Well, if this, this is a walleye, is... this is a damn wall hanger, dude. <laughs> Holy this... <laughs> this is a big one. This is a PB coming here, buddy. Oh my Let's God, finish. is that a walleye? Yeah, it is. Are you sure? I think so. It oh is. my God, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. here we go. <laughs> Look at Holy. Oh my God! Wow! It's a giant! Wow! It's a freaking giant! Oh my gosh! Oh baby! Cat and dead. Woo! Dude. How big is that? Is that a 28? Oh, that's probably 30s plus. No way! Yeah. Oh yeah! Shut your face! Oh, that's a big one. When I hooked this fish, I knew it was different, but oh! Look at the size of that monster. 29 and a half. Are you serious? I'm serious. Dude. Holy cow. I'm shaking <laughs> right now. I know. <laughs> you should be. Ted. No, I'm I make my third 29 this. <laughs> 
29 and a half, guys. That's like catching a 10 pound bass, okay? A 10 pound bass, holy cow. Look at the girth on it. Look at the Dude, belly. Dude, just. And I kind of knew if we hung out her. on that point that there'd be a big fish out there, but All right. let me tell you, there's a bigger one out there. That's a giant, y'all. That's a giant walleye. Holy cow. See you, girl. There go. Well, 30 years for him. Fish of a lifetime. So I've always kind of looked at walleye as like, well, that's the meat, you know? That's that's the golden crispies. There's nothing better than that. But to fish for them as trophy big fish like this, catching them on the lures was really good, but it's it's difficult to get those hog jammers, you know what I mean? They sit there on the bottom and they are just, they're finicky, you know? But the thing they can't resist is a daggum Canadian Nightcrawler. And that one right there that was on the apex of that point, I saw it when we came over it when the graph, I was like, God dang, that's a big old mark. And I think that's probably the fish that we hooked up on. Going yeah. through the juice. You gotta believe. Big Mo's sitting on this point. A lot of times right on that drop off when you come off a high rock and they sit in that little drop off on the pocket, just pull them out. Well, there it is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Textbook. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boys. That's how we do it. That's how we do it there. I did. I yeah, everybody saw your rod load, it was nice. And then find that right, didn't we? Oh yeah. I'm scared to put my line down there. What is gonna happen next? Dirty 30. How many over 30 inches have you caught in your life? Here? Just this, in total. In total. I want to answer it two ways so you'll appreciate this. Okay. I've caught two here. And You've 20, caught two over 30 two here. In 27 years. In 27 years. <laughs> now. Wow. How many have I caught over 30 in the Great Lakes, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario? Um, probably over 200. 200? Yeah. You caught 200 over 30? In the Great Lakes. Wow. Big water, big fish. Cap dead. He's known for toads. That's what we do. Let me ask you a technical question fishing this thing. So when you get to a little deeper spot, do you let line out? I do. You let a little, okay, because I've been adjusting, yeah. reeling in on the shallow and yeah. then Pay let, attention to the depth, because I'll yeah. kind of zigzag in and out, and plus the rock structure's different. You always want to be on the bottom, so I'm always constantly letting line out, reeling line in. And and if you're not making contact, you ain't getting bit. Yeah, and that's what the bouncing's about. You know, you bounce down there and you can't feel that bottom. Bounce with it. You gotta stay in tune with your bouncer more than I was thinking. So I'm learn I'm learning here. I'm marking fish here. Alright, we're dropping. I'm dropping. There he is. Get him? Yep. Nice job. Quality fish? No. Nope. I think I got a handle on this one. Okay. I mean he's quality, but he's not Let's a see slot. If I can double down here. Here's one. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. There we Get go. you a double. There we go, guys. Hold on. I think I caught, I caught our sister here. First time I caught one of these, I went to lip it, and I said, nope, 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 nope. Not going to do that. Let's measure her up. It's about 20. Oh, geez. We're so used to catching big yeah. fish. A 20 looks small. Just got a little, little cut oh, from no. the... Uh, from the, the gills. Oh no. Just to let you guys know. Dangerous game. This is Ted's last day up here. So to finish at this is where we had our shore lunch, right over here. Special spot where his ashes will be laid. Monster walleyes for 20 years. Pretty awesome.
feels like these crawlers know they're trying to be hooked in the face. Okay. We got something serious here? Something that I want to see anyway. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, making some surges. Either it's a really strong fish <laughs> or it might be. It just might be a big one. The one. Oh my gosh, Ted. I like the way those gears are burning. Move mine to the other side here. Northern. I don't think so. It's staying. Oh god. Oh, god. Dog. Ah. Yeah. That was a toad. It wasn't making like those big, big Slug. northern surges. Northern would have took Yeah, yeah. 100%. God. That was a monster. Oh my. That's got to be a northern. <laughs> yeah. I mean, big old slime. It's not running right now, but God, when it hit it, it's a big one. Game hog. It's not fighting right, right now. It's northern, then, huh? I don't it's know. Out? It seems like it's coming up. Let me knock the tar out of it. Hardest hit I've had so far. Oh, we come off. Actually, oh. it was. Oh no, we still got him. Oh. It's, it's gotta be a northern. You think he came off and came back and got it? Maybe another one did. That's this is a different fish. It's a different fish. Yeah. I'll be damned. Look at look at behind him. A oh, huge northern. Oh, oh you oh my gosh, a big northern trying to eat him. There you go. This that's what happened. I had I had this guy and the pike grabbed him. That's what happened. That was a monster northern. For over 40. Over 40. Over 40. Maybe he'll come back. That poor little guy. Oh my gosh. You were chased by a monster. Oh. Have you ever seen that happen? Yeah, yes I have. It happens on, anytime you got a little walleye like that, they'll eat it. That thing was a snake. I don't know how long that was. Does oh, he have any teeth marks on him? Oh yeah, he's got it on the side here. there. Like here. And on the top. He's here. ripped up. Oh my gosh. Here. I had a, oh yeah, and he's ripped on his belly. So that's how the big teeth. the fish's mouth was. Dude. So yeah, yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That was a giant northern pike that had my walleye. I felt the walleye hit it, and then all of a sudden it just got really heavy. Really heavy. Like I couldn't even move, like I was on a log. Big old northern. <laughs> Trying to eat my dinner. Dad coming. See what happened. Maybe, maybe we'll get this one in the book. Ted's hooked up on something very large. Unless it's foul hooked, I think so. Yeah. Ooh, I think it's a wall. I think I saw the white of the tail. Oh my gosh. That's going there, bud. He's coming. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, a northern. Is it a northern? I think it, it is. It is. It's a big boy. Is it? That's a big boy. It's probably over 35. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> that last run really made a difference. Okay, I'm gonna reel in. <laughs> Climb time. I must have him hooked just right. You must. Right in the corner. Right maybe in the nose. It's a big one. That's a big one, dude. Oh, golly! Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, that's a toad. How did you hook this thing and not break know. it off? I don't know. I mean, the weight. I feel how heavy thing. that thing is. Look at this thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's probably over 40, man. Yeah. <laughs> Big fish day. Woo! 
Ooh. Look right. Look where that hook was. Oh right there in the corner of the mouth. Look. Oh my. Yeah. That's right the there. only way you could. Look at the head on it. Look at the head. I gotta oh get pliers. my gosh. That's, <laughs> Imagine That's gotta that. be your personal best. Imagine that. Oh, I think so. Oh, I think so. Hold that thing up. <sighs> oh, he's oh so slimy. Gosh. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy cow. That is heavy. All right, let's Look at his some... tail. Bigger my hand. Let's get some photos. That thing is huge. Right at 39 and a half. What? That thing's not over 40? 39 and a half. Holy cow. Oh, he's just so girthy, I think. Yeah, he's, he's the thickest. Oh my God, he's a thick. <sighs> <laughs> That's a gator, man. <laughs> Flipping a tickle. Flipping a tickle, that gator's good. There he goes. Oh my gosh, another jump. Another jump. How cool is that? That's awesome. That's a miracle that that thing was hooked just in the right spot. Oh, wow. That could have been, that could have been the same northern that had my walleye. I don't know. about it? look like it. yeah i mean they could have been brothers or sisters because talking about some gators what an incredible day on the water just so awesome smash it. hook him in the head. You seem to be a little hesitant about it. Okay, we'll make sure you rig that up good. Good juicy bloody worm. Back in the game. First day of official walleye fishing the correct way. Yeah. You caught a fish of a lifetime. I've caught multiple PBs and then yeah, fish of a lifetime. Pretty, uh, pretty good first day of walleye. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. How long has the bottom bouncing technique been in the game? Yeah. Hang on, we're hooked up. Feels like another, another dandy. <laughs> yeah, no, just twenties. Uh, Catching them in the low mid twenties. Might get my worm back too if I'm real fancy about it. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this go. I'm not even gonna touch him. Just gonna let him go pristine from human touch. Up here on beautiful rainy. There he goes. Another tasty walleye for the books today. Uh, see bait right now. Oh, I'm hooked up. Uh, decent head shakes. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah, a good hey. one. Yeah, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, eh? Wow, man. <laughs> nice. That a skinny one, long one. Yeah, he's a skinny one. You know, 25 incher, something like that. Yeah. Wow, quick release. Had him right in that soft corner. How we doing? We're, we're, we got a little something here. Feels hefty. Nice, nice. Yep, we just saw the boat. Just another one. 
another standard big unit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Boy, he fought, didn't he? He did, man. These last couple, the, the head shakes, the initial head shakes. So, I want to show you something that Ted just showed me here with these walleye. Very similar to crappie, okay? They have a, a little hinge in their mouth right here. You can see through it. It's translucent. That little spot right there, if you hook them, if you let off tension at all, you're going to lose that fish. It's, it's just like a crappie. So you got to have that light wire hook and that soft rod. Other words, otherwise, you're going to lose that fish. Nice one. Good walleye. Hopefully we get around the front of this with this hammer. Got him. Ted's hooked up. Feel good? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I got a foul hook. What is that? You see it yet? Just a nice walleye in it. All right, ah. all right. <laughs> there it is. That's another piggy. Oh, man. Good all job. Right. All right. You know, they don't, like, they're not huge fighters in the water. Or they fight in the boat. But my gosh, when you get the, your hand. Are you there? Down. Right there again. That soft tissue. Whew. I don't know what that is. Like face meat. No idea. Big fit. That's a chunky one. All right. Nicely done. Head to the next spot. Well, bam. I mean, just nothing. We're not catching anything under 20 inches, it seems. Last spot of the day. It's just time to go big or go home. We've already gone big and we're gonna go home, but can we possibly get bigger? I don't know. It's right there on that point, I think, Justin. Right there on that point, calling your shot? Yep. Let's do it. I believe you. Let's do it. I'm gonna go fresh worm. Last spot, you gotta go fresh worm. Absolutely. Don't play around. Head shakes. That could be a lie. This is going to be a walleye. Just a, just a decent one. Definitely over 20. He did not fight that hard. Initial, initially he did. Come here, my, oh, now you got to fight, huh? Ah, like a big perch. Double up. All right, we'll let mine go. While well, I got the net in hand, Let's see what Captain Ted's got working. Another nice walleye. Oh, good. Perfect. <laughs> That was the last cast for you for a year. another year. Glad it was with you, bud. Absolutely awesome day. I'm glad it was with you as well, Ted. We had incredible walleye fishing. Absolutely incredible. You've seen a lot of days out here. A lot of days. Average size, top 10, oh, top ab five. Absolutely top, top five. Probably. Top five, biggest size. I mean, we caught two under 20. That's how incredible it was. Jigundus Pike, of course I caught my PB, 29 and a half. I've always thought it's funny when, when uh, Canadians say, Crowler Harness. I never really understood what it was. Well today, 
we got intimate with it and now I fully understand. Ted, thank you for the education. Thank you, Justin. Let's do it again next year. Absolutely. I'll be coming back for this experience again and you guys, hopefully you learned something today as well. Tell me this is the end to the perfect day. <laughs> well, folks, I had uh, my mathematics failed us today. I think I got enough gas. <laughs> uh, we are out of gas, and we are about a mile from the lodge. <laughs> Literally, we can see it. <laughs> oh, no, my dad, my dad and Brad are going to have to come save us. Literally went the extra mile. We probably covered close to 100 miles today. <sighs> Well, it was worth it. That's all I gotta say. If we had to swim back, it would have been worth it. My dad and Brett were just, they just happened to be out trolling for pike or something in the middle. It was weird. We ran into them. They're way behind us right now because they're in a slow little tin can that we've been fishing out of. But yeah, they're gonna have to tow us in with a 60 horse. Yeah. Did I get a ride, eh? I need to go. Uh, Thank goes. goodness we ran into you guys. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank what? goodness we, we stopped. Yeah. All right. All right. Yep, those are my rods. Yeah, Definitely move careful. those rods. Move them right now. <laughs> that would have been a fun boat to be helping. in all day. I got it. Oh, you got it. Don't okay. zip here. I'm left. Hey, look what you, oh, yeah. you caught a big one. It's 21 feet. Come on, guys. Follow us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boys, that is going to wrap up the day. We actually made it in, just barely, but we, we made it in. Uh, I learned a ton today, guys. Something I never thought I would do is, is go dedicate myself to walleye fishing. I caught a few good ones out here on just fishing bass baits, and I just said to myself, man, I need to go out with Captain Ted, and I really need to learn how to do this because he's been just catching some monsters out here this week and it's really been on. So I did and my gosh, I caught a freaking giant. I mean, an absolute wall hanger that was unexpected, but I just learned a ton about walleye fishing and bottom bouncing. So hope you learned something along the way and smash that like button for outdoor greatness. Guys, we got one more day out here and I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go have some fun out here on Rainy Lake, finish strong, with my dad, with the rest of the guys, and finish off a great trip. So thank you for tuning in today, and we'll see you again one more day out here on Rainy Lake. <laughs>